Hello, welcome everyone. In this video, I'm going to take the derivative of secant of x. So secant of x is defined as 1 over cosine of x or the inverse of cosine of x. And we're going to use the information of the derivative of cosine of x to find the derivative of this function secant of x. So I'm going to write this down. Secant of x equals cosine of x to the negative 1 or it's the inverse of cosine of x. And now uh, we already know the derivative d over dx of cosine of x equals negative sine of x. Okay, and now let's take the derivative d over dx of secant of x, uh, which is equal to d over dx of cosine of x to the negative 1. All right, here we're going to apply the chain rule. So it's going to be the derivative of outside function times the derivative of inside function. So we get negative 1 times cosine of x to the negative 1 minus 1. That's the derivative of the outside function times the derivative of the inside function, which is cosine of x. Now we get negative 1 times cosine of x to the negative 2 times now the derivative of cosine of x is negative sine x so negative sine x okay now we can simplify this we get negative 1 over we can bring this cosine of x to the negative 2 in the denominator and it becomes cosine of x to the second power times negative sine of x so we get negative 1 over cosine of x squared times negative sine of x. So this negative times negative becomes positive. So we get sine of x over cosine of x squared. This one we can write it as sine of x over cosine of x times cosine of x and then we can use this that this is equal to tangent of x times 1 over cosine of x and we know that 1 over cosine of x is also equal to secant of x so we get tan of x times secant of x so this is the derivative of secant of x so hopefully this helps